as we already know, Clay Thompson tore his right Achilles in a workout. This was a week ago, I made a video on it. And as a Warriors fan, this is very hard. After 17 months off from a left ACL tear, he tore his right Achilles. He suffered two of the worst leg injuries possible. One on each leg, meaning his legs are pretty much screwed. And since both Curry and Clay are getting old, this means the Warriors are pretty much done for too. The dynasty that controlled the NBA for over half a decade is dying. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Cavaliers, their biggest rival and the team that they went head to head with for four straight NBA finals, is already two years into rebuilding after one of the hardest drop offs ever when LeBron left Cleveland. What this really means though, is that the teams that controlled the NBA for the previous years are effectively over. They're rebuilding. They're no longer contenders. Putting this all aside, we're due for the next big rivalry. The next dominating pair of franchises that clash in nothing but greatness in front of millions on national television. Who comes to mind? The Lakers and the Heat. So I have some points on how this transition of decade defining rivalries could take place. So first is how the Lakers have been making subtle but defining free agency signings, such as stealing Montrezl Harrell and his 18 points and seven rebounds from the failing Clippers, or signing Wesley Matthews. They even took Jay Crowder from the Heat themselves. All this amounts to an even better Lakers squad, plus overtaking the Clippers in the one category in which there was some contention for who was better in LA, debt. Also, though a horrible way to think about it, the injury of Klay Thompson has to help by pretty much knocking out one of their biggest contenders for Kings of the West. However, unlike previous years, the competition for the ring doesn't end in the WCF. The East has some formidable teams that could be even more of the challenge with a certain free agency signing. That's right, we're winging out the big guns. It's no secret that Giannis Antetokounmpo is heavily rumored to sign with the Miami Heat. This signing would be a huge deal for basically everyone because that means I wasted 80 bucks on Giannis Warriors jersey. <laughs> For real though, this would rocket the Heat to the top of the rankings in 2021-22 to and put them squarely in front of the Lakers. This would lead to something like the warriors cows rivalry, except the conferences switch. In the West, a team led by two guys, AD and LeBron, kind of like like Kyrie and LeBron Cavs. In the Heat, on the East, with four guys, Giannis, Butler, Hero, Adebayo. This one's compared to Steph, Clay, KD, and Dre. Now, one thing you might say, Adebayo is not good enough to be considered big four type, not even hero. They're both one hit wonders and just stepped off in the playoffs. Well, two things. One, they're both great players, okay? You just haven't been paying attention. Two, stepping up the playoffs is a crucial part of someone's game. So, it's not like you can discard that. And one more thing. Considering the Heat and Lakers have already met in the finals before theoretical Giannis signing, this would be very comparable to the Kevin Durant Warriors signing in 2016. If you haven't already realized, what we just put together would be a game-changing rivalry. However, one factor could put a stop to all of it. LeBron's old age. LeBron James is 35 years old and has been in this league for 17 years. Although, he did say he wants to play with his son, so that might add some years on top of what we already think he'll play. But most guys retire at 31 and play only 5 years, and that's the all-NBA average. Basically, even though he's a superhuman, he gets old and it's about time. However, on the flip side, Anthony Davis is still relatively young at age 27, barely in his prime. Some argue he's not even in his prime. He can only get better from here, barring a bad injury. 
One last thing that could depict the next few years of professional basketball is Miami's young core and hero, Adebayo, and a potential Giannis Antetokounmpo. These guys are all under the age of 30, even 27, and have huge potential. Under Eric Spolstra and Pat Riley, they can blossom into superstars. So, those are a couple of things I want to put out about the Lakers and Heat's future. Thanks for watching and watch these videos next.